what's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great start to this Monday morning. Let's go ahead and rock this video, all right? So today we're gonna to be talking about the legendary Miss Tina Turner and the issue that her and Elton John had with one another back in the day. So a few days ago, I did a video talking about what Elton John had to say about Michael Jackson. This new book that Elton has came out with he's definitely spilling a lot of gasoline all over the place in regards to his encounters with certain celebrities. Now, you know, in my last video that I did talking about Elton and what he had to say about Michael Jackson, I thought it was very distasteful and I thought it was a punk move because Michael Jackson is not here to defend himself. Now, unveiling this situation that him and Tina Turner had, Elton is claiming that Tina fat shamed him. So let's go ahead and take a look at the receipts that the Neighborhood Talk 2 has provided and read what they have to say in regards to this matter. Elton John has been spilling all the tea in his new autobiography, Me Elton John. Elton dishes on his relationship with Tina Turner and how he had enough of her BS. Apparently, Elton told Tina she could stick her Proud Mary song, Where the Sun Don't Shine, after she called him fat. In 1997, the two artists planned to go on tour together, but they found themselves constantly butting heads during rehearsals. Elton talks about feeling like Turner crossed the line by being overly critical of him. She didn't like my hair. She didn't like the color of my piano. She didn't like my clothes. He claims that Turner told him, you wear too much Versace and it makes you look fat. You have to wear Armani. Well, this comment must have really struck a nerve because Elton ended up busting into tears. Elton says they were also arguing over his ability to play Proud Mary and concluded the heated debate by telling Tina to take her song and stick it where the sun doesn't shine, and then he stormed off. Now, the reason why I'm shocked about this altercation between Elton and Tina is because I don't look at Tina as being that feisty woman. I mean, she's very feisty on stage. She gives you a great performance. But for some reason, I just cannot see Tina fat shaming Elton John. Now, I know that we can't put anything past anyone. And obviously, a confrontation happened between the two of them. Listen, this is just my opinion on the whole situation. Tina had a vision for the tour, right? And her vision for the tour that they were going to go on didn't sit well with Elton. She felt like certain things should have been a certain way. And Elton's vision for the tour did not sit well with Tina. So they both clashed. But the one thing that came out of this situation is they didn't hold the lifetime grudge against one another. Elton invited her to his home for dinner and they actually made up. So that's a good thing. But again, guys, I just don't see Tina being that type of woman when you take into account everything that Tina has been through, especially with Ike, you would think that she would be more respectful to anyone, you know, given the situation and the circumstances that she had to go through in life herself. Now, in closing, let me say this in regards to Elton. If you claim that you and Tina made up at your home over dinner, why would you rip the scab off of the wound? Why would you revisit a situation or better yet a confrontation that you had with Tina Turner in the 90s if you are truly over it and you guys have made up? Listen, I don't know about you all, but I feel this way. If you put something in a book about someone that you had a confrontation with and even though you made peace with that person, if you put it in a book, in my opinion, you're not totally over it. And also, I would think, now Elton John doesn't have to do this, but if you're gonna put something in the book about someone that you made peace with, why not call that person and say, hey, you know, I understand that we had a confrontation back in the day. I understand that we made up, but I do want to put this in the book. I hope that you're gonna be okay with it. Like give Tina the respect to say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the book. I'm letting you know that there's no issue with us, but I just want to tell my truth to the world. Like in that certain scenario, whether Tina liked it or not, you gave her the courtesy and the respect to let her know that you were gonna talk about the situation that you all went through in this current book. Now, let's keep it all the way 100. Tina has about three or four or five books out in regards to her own life, her own journey. Not once did she mention the altercation between her and Elton John. And when you look at Tina and Elton, they're both in the same realm when it comes to success. 
I think Elton may have a little bit more money, but they're both in the same realm. So the point that I'm trying to make is that Tina could have talked about Elton in her book just to boost her sales. If she would have mentioned Elton, his fans would have flocked and bought that book because they wanted to know what Tina had to say about Elton, but she didn't. And at least two of her books came out after the altercation between her and Elton. So who's clout chasing here? Listen, breaking news, breaking news people, you can actually clout chase even if you're on the same level as someone, whether it be career-wise, financially, popularity, or all the above. All I'm saying guys is I'm pretty sure that Elton has had some run-ins with some other celebrities that didn't make his book. But see, they're not the household names of a Tina Turner or a Michael Jackson. In other words, he's using my people to cash in, period, point blank. So in my opinion, just like I previously stated guys, here you have a man in Elton John that's on the same level financially, career-wise, and popularity as Tina Turner, who has elected to use a negative experience that he claims that he had with Tina. Oh, and let's not forget that the two allegedly made up over dinner, right? But yet, he elected to throw the mess in the book just to make money off of Tina Turner and Michael Jackson. And I'm not trying to be funny, guys. I'm just keeping it real. The things that he's saying about people that look like me in his book is far more aggressive than the things that he's saying about people that look like him. I'm just saying. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna let this go and let y'all have at it in the comments. Drop down and let me know what you think about this situation. Give me your true thoughts and assessments, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.